Hello, welcome to Kushti TV, the Straight Talking YouTube channel. Yes, you keep on subscribing, I'll keep on delivering. Today's podcast, do not judge a book by its cover. We've heard that one, haven't we? That cover looks great, we under the book, it's not all that. Yes, vice versa, quite a bland cover, great book. Do not judge a book by its cover, that very much happens in the fight game. Um, I've had first-hand experience, the brilliant, undefeated Terry Marsh. Yes, the only other British world champion that um, retired undefeated along with Joe Calzaghi. Yes, Terry Marsh, um, the fireman from Langdon. Met him, lovely man. Appearance, facially, didn't look beaten, didn't look aggressive, looked mild. Um, quite pale skinned, um, not a big man in presence, not muscly looking. Just a normal, normal looking bloke. But boy, could he go to work. That was one book you shouldn't judge by its cover. Another bloke I met was Jack McCreesh. Um, a lovely bloke as well. Um, tiny hands, quite pale skinned. Again, slightly red hair. Just didn't look big, muscly. European champion, challenge for a world title. These guys really, really just looked the other blokes in the room. You could have done almost anybody out to fight. These boys really was. Don't judge a book by its cover. Then we have tough, hard, aggressive looking men like Tex Cobb. Tex Randolph Cobb, who was what he was. He, he looked very hard and he was very hard. Sometimes we can have that in fighters, you know. I mean, Mike Tyson looked mean, didn't he? And he was mean, very mean. You know, Rocky Marciano looked hard and he was hard and Freddie Mills and so on. But there's many more. Jimmy Wilde, the ghost with a hammer in his hand. Apparently he used to float around an eight stone, so pale, was like a ghost. And when he hit, they had the, the nickname with a ghost. Hit like a ghost with a hammer in his hand. Jimmy Wilde. And so on. So, you know, we do know not to judge a book by its cover. But I'm going to bring a person into focus that blows a whole lot of them out of the water. Yes, it takes you to a... A whole different level. Yes, the most unassuming character I had ever seen. I went into a famous boxing gym last week and some big heavyweights in there and light heavies and welters and all that. Yes, in there. And without even taking any notice, I saw a person in the corner. Yes, just doing a little dance. And um, just like a normal little nine-year-old girl, but she is just dancing away, minding her own business, doing a little girly dance or some music, not showing off, not brash, not flash, just dancing, playing to herself as a kid do, you know, in the corner of the gym. Anyway, some 10, 20 minutes later, the pads go on. The little nine-year-old, and I was just left. Absolutely, mouth open, amazed. I think I have seen a champion of the world in a little nine-year-old girl. Absolutely. Yes, and then when she went to work on the pads, she almost put the gym to shame. Good seasoned hard fighters. She was that good. So I've gone to the local bookie. I'm trying to get some odds, yes, on this little girl being a champion of the world. Talking about judge a book by its cover, takes it to an old new level. Name, Amelia O'Hagan. Yes? Well, don't take my word for it. Take a look at this footage, and you give me some feedback, and you think if this girl can step in the shoes of a Katie Taylor, and so on. All yours, take a look. Oh, you're a strong little girl. Yeah. You're going to be knocking people out. Yep. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Nothing. Oh, lovely shot. Go on, go. Good girl! Fire, fire!
Good girl. Good girl. Go on, girl. That's it. Keep doing your thing. You got the skills, girl. You got the skills. Down or not? Good shot. Good. Good boxer, Amelia. Good boxing. Listen to Coach Paul. Good boxing. Beautiful boxing. Look at that lovely girl. Go on, girl. Now move, pivot it off like mummy's pivot. Good girl. Fire, fire. There we go. Nice. Sorry. I think she should be out tomorrow, One, man. Get your bets on, Amelia, because I am.